back to your slides. OK, you can start now. OK, let's see. So good morning, everyone. Um, start for the rest of my part. The company we have stacked the Fonterra and I'm continue with the credit policy of Fonterra company and the reason of the credit policy. And uh, so it is the use of the credit policy policy is the reasonable for any company as this can identify as the key strategies of the firm and uh, they have the specially required for dealing with the trade credit or the trade receivable and uh, moreover so the Fonterra is not having such policies in its business so it is only receiving the fewer payments from its trade receivable and paying off its trade payable so that it can improve the relation with its trade payables. So the after this one, I have moved to the next slide, which is the working capital for year 2018 and year 2019. So as per the annual record of Fonterra, it is seen that in us having losses from its operation and uh, it is trying to fix its business situations through having its working capital intact so this is because from the balance sheet of the share company it is seen that fonterra is maintaining and affecting working capital in the both the financial year of 2018 and 2019 so the working capital has been seen to be increased in 2019 with a few dollars but more than 2018 so the working capital situation of Fonterra is quite good we can say and uh, it prefer for the business situations so the next one is the different source of the short term finance. So the investors of the Fonterra, they may not get access to the short term financing as the Fonterra is as the Fonterra is uh, we can say like the Fonterra is currently not having the such situation and its business because of the decrease of its assets that the mansion company is not having to assess such the financing as aspects for its uh, investor so moreover it also seen the that the currently Fonterra is not having the favorable situation for its investor as it's not making dividends payment to the its their investor so the next one is the capital structure. So the capital structure has been restricted for the Fonterra due to usability in the debt reduction and return on capital and can be seen as maybe the 5.8% in the year 2019. So the capital expenditure of Fonterra can be seen as dollar 600 million for 2019 with the value of dollar 819 billion so the measurement of the gross marginal improvement of the company can be seen with maybe the 15 percent so which has been the lower from the three year plan. So the next one is the changes in the capital structure. So the capital structure between the previous and the current year for Fonterra can help assess the past. So which can be seen through which can we seen through like the capital expenditure from the previous year which is due to the reduction of its debt. So in the year 2018, so we can see the capital expenditure of the company was 
861 million dollar in 2018 and uh, they have like before 2017 it was dollar 851 million so the 53 percent of growth was spent in uh, for its use for the carry over projects and including the dollar 61 million so it can be like we can say the capital expenditure for 2020 has been set by Fonterra as maybe dollar 500 million dollars so the here is the current market value of the Fonterra shares so the current value of the company market share is 3.77 dollar so which has been down by 26.4 and uh, the total equity volume of the company is dollar six thousand and forty-nine million dollars so no such dividend payment can be seen in such cases which includes the retained earning of dollar 360 million so here is the here is the graph so seen as from the current share market of Fonterra direct towards a closing value of three uh, 3.6900 of and ranging from the day limit from 3.692 3.8 and uh, the average volume of the entire share is seen from the 149 and 63 see 149 and uh, the down one average volume 149634 and this can be provided at the earning rate of uh, minus 0 0.3640 and this provide the market stability with market cap of the 5.9488 so after this we can move to the capital cost to the organization so the net working capital for the company can be seen as dollar 3168 million which has decreased from the year 2018 with dollar three four three two and uh, in year two thousand seventeen it was the three thousand and fifty five dollars so the value has been increased by four percent of four x well, which has uh, increased from the three year plan so the reduction of the working capital can be seen from the reduction in the product sale so which was the 22 billion in 2018 and it reduced to the 21.9 billion we can see in 2019 so the cash flow can be considered as another aspect so which can be defined the reduction for the Fonterra so that is the all so thank you for listening are there any questions thank you property okay so i know i would like to invite the one student to ask you a question okay yes you um, yes, can you speak out loud please yeah okay so i'll just say i'll invite some student to ask yeah yeah no wait okay. nancy yeah that's all good okay so novi Novi, are you there? Novi? Is, is it me? Yes. Novi, would you okay. like to ask property one question? Oh, yeah. Um, you discussed about the, uh, uh, the first part. Pardon? 
Sorry, no, I could not hear you properly. Can you scroll up? Novi, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So um, the question that I do have is regarding about the uh, working capital. Yep. So um, as you have mentioned that um, for Fontera, uh, their annual records or yep. is like, um, oh, what do you call this? Like fix? Is it fix? What's that? Uh, the, the working capital for 2018 and 2019 is it fixed? Yeah. Okay. It is no. It is trying to fix its business. Uh, okay. Its, like, situation through having its working capital. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it may be. But how about for let's say in 2020, uh, due to the uh, COVID-19, is there any effect on the working capital? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, we can say it. It have impact on that one so maybe here yeah. well there is okay yeah is it, is it decreasing it is, or it is impact because like you know like the import export of the dairy products it it comes that down so it may be effect on the working capital for the, okay. the next year so we can say yeah all right it's a, it's being affected okay all right thank you yeah no it's fine Okay, thank you, Novi. Okay, so property. So you mentioned that like there is no such credit policy for Fontara. Pardon? You mentioned there is no such credit policy for Fontara yeah. company. Yeah. Okay, so there is no any credit policies relevant? Oh, uh, no. Credit policy, no. It's Okay, have you really checked, let's say, it, Maybe, Nancy, it, it's already, the Gunjot already have explained the cred, about the credit policy. Yeah, this is my question because there's inconsistency because he mentioned some credit policy and then like yeah. in your case, you mentioned there's no such credit policy. No, no, no. So yeah. I'm confused. No, 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 I'm not, no, yeah, just he, he was already, that's he says. No, but on your slides, right? Mm. On your slides, Pradeep, you yep. mentioned clearly there's no such credit policy. So you yep. need to be change, like okay. your project in your project. If there yep. is like inconsistency there, you'll be in trouble, okay? Okay, I can always see. Yeah, and change then it. also you are talking about working capital, like the comparison between 2018 and 2019. So the same problem with you and a good job is like you didn't also show any figures it's like what what In are what is the working capital right for 2018 and what is the working capital for 2019 okay so right? yeah. yeah and this is actually the overlapping right with good jobs as well yeah. because both oh, of no. you talking about working capital yeah i will show it okay no, no. right yeah and then it's like uh, when you talk about the source of short-term financing can you move to the source of short-term financing No, you already passed. Go back. Go back. Okay, here. This slide. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And could you also discuss something about the different source of short term financing? Again, the information are inconsistent with what you mentioned here and what he mentioned. So what what you want to say like No, I'm I'm talking, yes, like the information provided by you in here. Yeah. It's like inconsistent with what good job discuss about okay so i'm not sure like which which one do you guys want to go for it's like your ones your explanations or good job explanations not clear okay. for me okay we can like imagine you need to check with good job okay so who are yeah. going to write this part and like how you are going to explain about these parts okay okay no worries we, okay yeah, we and then can i ask you the so you Give the current market value of the Fontara shares, right? So yeah. can I go to the shares figure? 
figure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where you get this figure? From which website? Uh, I have already have the reference. It's from the Google from some the Fonterra Cooperative Group Limited. They have like given in their we can say the prospectus or something somewhere. But I remember like in the beginning, like for this project we mentioned, you need to go to that stock stocks like exchange website, right? To check yeah. for the stock value. Yeah, this is, is yeah, this is, uh, established in New Zealand based on our year. This. Yeah, because I'm not sure where you get this information from. So I'm not sure if that like in, let's say the website is credible okay. enough or not. Okay. Okay, so if you can yeah. go to that, like say the stock, like say, uh, exchange website so that will provide you like the credit source okay yeah, yeah okay so and then what is the um share the value of the shares identified in their annual report how it compared to the current market value of the shares so this will just show the the current value of the company market share is like three point seven seven dollar and which has been down to the twenty six point four percent which has been down by twenty six four point four percent this is yeah. compared and to what it is like compared to the total equity volume of the company which is like the six thousand three hundred forty nine million dollar no property See, which has been down by 24.4 or 26.4%, right? So you are talking about the market share, the value of the market share, right? Yeah. So it is like, like decreased by this amount is compared which year and which year? Is it compared with the year 2018 and uh, 19? I'm asking you, I don't know because I don't know yeah. where you get this 24.6. Sorry, yeah. thirty six point four, right? Percent. Yeah, it's from the. It's it's yeah. nothing about the total equity volume, right? Because this is another information. It's not about this down information, isn't it? The difference. So it's like the year two thousand eighteen and nineteen. You need to be careful, like to give the four details there, okay? Okay, Nancy. And also, it's like my question is, so what is the value identified in Fontara's annual report about the value of their shares? So. Do you have that information? Which one is it? The value identified in Fontara's annual report of the shares. The Fontara said, no, I don't. Because you need to have a yes. section that yes. is to compare. Yes, in in report, Nancy, I have maybe the right of this thing. No, this is a change in the capital structure. This is another topic. Okay. Right. So you need to go back to the annual report and find what is the share value identified in the annual report and compare to the current market value. Okay. Okay, and give the justification. Okay. Okay, this is one thing. And yeah. then when you discuss about the capital structure, so yeah. have you calculated for the debt to equity ratio? Uh, so it can be like, yes. No, you didn't calculate. So. You need to calculate the debt okay. to equity so. ratio for yeah. you to explain about this, the change of the capital structure. Okay, I, yes. Okay. Check in, yeah. You need to do the calculations and then get yeah. the justification because yeah. right now it's like you are just describing about yeah. like what are like some change in this accounting item in another accounting item, but how it exactly relate back to the capital structure, I have no idea. Okay, we'll, let's see, I will, I'll uh, show in double check in my project. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, you go to the capital cost. Yeah. 
Yes. So for the capital cost, so what is the capital cost here? So it's the capital co cost what the organization have like yeah they have like the networking capital for the company they have show and so they have decreased from the year 2018 so it compare with the year 2017 and 18 so how many there's so shows. how you see the working capital as the capital cost yeah it's not the same thing isn't it yeah it's not a, yeah yeah you need to identify what is the capital cost here right so okay. for example if you tell me say it's like the current interest rate right they the range of that may change and this can refer to the capital cost because this yeah. decide how much the company need to right to okay. pay to borrow the money isn't it yet okay so you need to be very specific about what type of the capital cost are you talking about here. Yeah, okay, I will do in my... Um, okay, so I'll stop yeah. recording now. Can you just like uh, make sure you make all the required yeah, change in your project? Yeah, yeah, I will do it. Okay.